Welcome to my little country kitchen. This week we did a lot. Ginger had her surgery, so she got fixed. And I made a ton of applesauce for my grandbaby. And carrots and peas and butternut squash. Come see. Look at daddy giving Ginger a treat. Eating her like a tiny baby. She just had surgery to get spayed. She doesn't. You spoil that baby. Yeah, I'm spoiling her because she had a <laughs> all of her girl parts taken out. <laughs> Okay, I just canned some carrots and peas, and how can you tell if it had siphoning? The color of your water changes. See, it's kind of orange, like carrots. And the jars were very sticky, because carrots, carrots are naturally sweet, so... Yes, I did have siphoning, so... My mistake of putting different temperature jars in here than what the water was, so... I need to be more careful on that. All these jalapenos, pickled jalapenos out of pressure canner and I have nine more from the water bath that just came out too so these are all done and these are all jalapenos that my mom gave me there's probably about five pounds of them so it's really awesome when you get to can food that you get for free oh yay I love that noise it's like big three right this week we also butchered our first chickens. Okay, right under the jawbone. Okay. Uh, grab her, grab her jaw. She has a jawbone, and then cut to the side, kind of like a jugular, like ours. Is you that, have no idea how much I don't want to do this. Do you want me to do it? Cause just cause, look, she's asleep. She's ready. Okay, here. <laughs> you do it. I just. Oh. That is not my thing. <sighs> okay, move. Just, yeah, just, just don't worry. She's... She pulled away. All right. She decided she needed a shower before she got her scalding bath. Because she was a very dirty girl. How long does she need to be scalded for? Um, a minute. Round. <coughs> Sorry. It's too much. Music Turn licensing up. reimagined. Okay. Smell like wet dog. <laughs> Ginger's like, what am I smelling? What's the matter, Ginger? Can you smell the chicken? You'll get a treat in a minute. Artlist I.O. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Wet chicken feather water? No, you splashed poopy water in my mouth. It wasn't poopy, it was from the wing. There's no poop on the wing, huh? Mm -mm. Music licensing <sighs> reimagined. Sorry. That was nasty. Uh, I couldn't go in the cat. <laughs> Just suck on the wing and tell me what. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised that's the first time I've get. Artlist I.O. Music licensing reimagined. I 
couldn't believe how big these chickens were. They were more like jerkins, like a turkey and a chicken. One was 14 pounds, one was almost 10. I added it to my 23 quart stock pot and made some chicken broth. Then I cubed it up and added it to 14 quart jars. Then I added some carrots and peas. And some more chicken on top. And potatoes. And I added the broth as well. I have the first um, batch of chicken pot pie in there. And I'm warming up this broth for the second batch because the water's going to be hot second time. So I decided to do two more so I have another batch of full seven. And then I filled these little jars so I can stack these on top. Because I did stack on top of that four of these little jars, but they had just the chicken fat in it and two of them had chicken broth. That way I'm using as much space as possible in canning because I have oh, this whole other bucket of broth that I need to can up and preserve and put on my shelves. And I'm just gonna cover this with a cloth so no flies or bugs get on it. And then we'll be back once this starts steaming. I'll show you when they come out of the can, but I'm going to put this on once it starts steaming, let it steam for 10 minutes, and then set the timer for 90 minutes. Okay, thanks. This is my chicken pot pie or chicken soup coming out. As you can see, there was a lot of siphoning. So I looked it up, and it's because my jars were not warm, and I probably stuffed it too high. So. Maybe next time only here, not only one inch headspace, maybe two inch. I don't know, we'll see. I'll do another batch. And then I have these ones over here because I'm cleaning off all the greasiness because, you know, chicken fat is pretty much all over all the jars. So, and because I canned a whole bunch of chicken fat too. Those didn't siphon, I don't think. I kept those at that level, so. Anyway, I'm cleaning these jars. And that's my project. I finished the project for this week. Okay, see you next time. Thanks. Hey, the jars are all done for my chicken chop pot pie base. I, it could be, I guess, chicken soup too, if I didn't want to thicken it up. But I'm going to plan on adding a tablespoon of my gravy mix that I already have. And maybe even uh, one small can of cream of chicken soup to make it into a pot pie and then just put a, a crust over the top. And I have, how many of these do I have? I have 14 of these quarts. So I'm way excited that those two chickens gave us 14 different meals. And also out of the chicken, we got four of these little pints of extra chicken that we canned up and six little pints of this chicken fat so we can use as cooking liquids and I got three of these quarts of chicken broth that I just reused. One of them didn't seal so I'll just, I just kept it in the fridge for now. But that was everything that those two lovely chickens sacrificed. This is the next Sunday. I like matching. My mom gave me more jalapenos. I decided to share that with one of my neighbors. She ended up making pepper jelly. I harvested my first carrots this year. It was pretty good. I was happy. Got about two pounds. I got all these sweet potatoes out of my garden a couple days ago. And then look at these carrots. Some of them red, some of them orange. I'm cutting off the tops putting them in the compost bin for the chickens and then wash the rest. Yay. This big sucker. I had to cut off the top because one of the roosters was getting out and pecking at the top, having him a good little snack. So that's all right. He earned it. So I need to look up how to preserve these. I guess canning or freezing, right, are my two options. Dehydrating maybe? Yeah. Gingy, what are you doing up there? What's she doing? What's she doing?
doing up there? Get down. You silly baby, you want to play? Come on, let's go play. Come on, we'll go inside. Come on, baby. No. It's really cold. Come on, Gingy. Come on. Come on, Gingy. Let's go. What are you doing, Tiny? You just playing in the box? Hiding from Big Fat Sister? This was the next Sunday, and of course, we match in black and white this time. Dumped in my jar of basically chicken soup, and then I'm warming it up, and I added this brown gravy, about a tablespoon. I'm just gonna let that thicken up, and then turn this into a chicken pot pie. Okay, just a minute. Okay, it needs a lot more than what I added. About three tablespoons for one cup of water, so that's about right. There we go. That's getting nice and thick. That's more like a chicken pot pie. See how it stays. That's good. Okay. I'm going to dump it in a pan and put a crust over top. Okay, I do have a pie pan, but I don't believe it'll fit, so I'm going to use my cake pan, actually. And I'm going to coat it a little bit. What are you making? A pot pie? Mother? Okay. Waiting for this to get to room temperature. So I'm going to tuck it all in. Doesn't need to be fancy. Cut some slits. Okay. Stick in the oven for 350. Hopefully, in, I don't know, we'll see. 25 minutes. I'll be back. It's almost done to me. Nice and toasty on that side. Okay. Okay. I turned it up to 370 and put it in for five more minutes. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna let that cool off a little bit and then I get to taste it. She ain't purdy, but it'll be delicious. Let's have a bite. Mmm. 
do. Carrots nice and creamy. This is a chicken that I we butchered from a couple weeks ago. Got my neighbor greeny. Picked up nicely too. Carrots and peas. Mm. Next time I'll add probably um, half a can of cream of chicken soup, or you can make your own bechamel sauce if you want. But this came together in literally less than 10 minutes and then it baked for half an hour. So really fast as far as hands on time. So thanks for joining me. See you next time.